In this video, we'll write the name for Li3N. This is lithium nitride. So the thing that we need to recognize here is lithium, that's a metal. This nitrogen is a nonmetal. We have an ionic compound here. So lithium is going to transfer electrons to the nitrogen. The metal will transfer electrons to the nonmetal. So we'll have an ionic bond. We'll write three lithium atoms and then the one nitrogen. Lithium is in group one on the periodic table. So it has one valence electron. Let's put an electron on each lithium atom. And then nitrogen, that's in group 15, sometimes called 5A. That has five valence electrons. So nitrogen has its five valence electrons. And we're going to transfer electrons from the metal to the nonmetal here. So this electron will go here to the nitrogen, one more here, and then over here. Now the nitrogen, it has eight valence electrons. It has an octet, so that's very stable. And you can see why we need three lithium atoms to complete the octet for the nitrogen here. Each lithium contributes one. At this point, the nitrogen, it's gained three electrons. Electrons, they're negative, so it'll have a three minus ionic charge. Each lithium has lost one, so it'll lose one. That means it becomes more positive. It lost a negative charge. So we have one plus for each lithium, although we don't usually write the one, just put a plus there. To show that the electrons were transferred to the nitrogen, they're not being shared, they're now with the nitrogen, we need to put brackets around the nitrogen. Often you'll also see brackets around each of the lithiums. Since the lithiums are positive and this nitrogen is negative, we have these positive charges, they're attracted to the negative, and this forms the ionic bond in Li3N. So for our Lewis structure here for lithium nitride, these three lithium atoms, and they're ionically bonded to the nitrogen ion, the nitride ion. Note that this is what we call a formula unit. If we had a crystal, a solid piece of lithium nitride, we'd have a bunch of these formula units, and they'd be in this repeating pattern in the crystal. This is still very useful to tell how the lithium, the one valence electron from each lithium, is transferred to the nitrogen to give us the Lewis structure for Li3N, lithium nitride. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.